What's going on gardeners? It's Saturday, January 21st and a new growing season is upon us here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. On today's video, I'm going to share with you 17 fruits that you can plant as soon as your ground thaws so you can get a huge jump start on the growing season and shake off those wintertime blues. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear, your support is greatly appreciated. Once the frosts and freezes stop in our individual climates, it can be a mad rush to get everything out into the garden. As such, April and May tend to be very, very busy for all of us that garden in the northern hemisphere. And for that reason, we can be so overwhelmed at that time that we just don't get to accomplish every single thing that we want to get planted each season. But I'm here to tell you that you don't need to wait until the frosts and freezes stop in order for you to start planting. In fact, as soon as the ground is workable, there are countless things that you can start planting around the yard and garden, specifically deciduous, dormant fruit trees. They can go in as soon as your ground is workable, so you can get all of that work done and get outside and soak up some sun and shake off those winter blues early in the year and be super productive now. That way, all of this work will be done for you before April and May when you start getting all of your warm weather stuff into the garden. The thing that makes this method possible is the dormant period that these deciduous fruit trees go through. So this will assume that the trees that you plant are in full dormancy, like this peach tree that I'm showing you right here. When they are dormant, they can survive deep freezes and you can start planting them into the ground as soon as the soil is workable. When your soil is fully workable and no longer frozen, that is implying that the worst freezes are well out of the picture. It means that frost and freezes can still occur, but basically anything below 20 degrees Fahrenheit is long past. So once you start to get to that point where it's very unlikely that it's going to drop below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, your, your soil has probably thawed out completely and it is safe to start planting bare root trees or deciduous trees that are in full dormancy. And of course, if you live in a climate where the ground never freezes, which is usually zone eight or warmer, that means you can plant these fully dormant deciduous trees all throughout the winter. So I'm going to give you a list of all 17 things you can plant as soon as your ground unfreezes and is fully workable and of course this assumes that every single thing on this list is hardy to your zone. The first fruit that you can plant as soon as the ground thaws are blueberries. Blueberries are one of the most cold hardy fruits in the world. In fact, they are so cold hardy that they wind up emerging from dormancy when it's still pretty cold out. Believe it or not, it's January 21st and already my blueberry bushes are starting to bud and this one already has open flowers. That's how early they begin to emerge from dormancy. So if you live in a mild climate, you need to plant your blueberries as soon as possible. And even if you live in a cold climate, you need to order them as soon as possible because they are one of the first things that you can plant in ground every year. The second and third fruits that you can plant as soon as your ground thaws are blackberries and raspberries. Here you can see my blackberry plants. They are so cold hardy that here in zone eight, they still have all of their foliage. They're practically evergreen on all three plants despite getting as cold as 16 degrees this year. The same thing goes with raspberries. This little baby raspberry plant I planted in last October. So it is only a few months old and even despite getting down into the teens for three nights in a row, it weathered the storm just fine and it still maintains some of its foliage. So this is going to be even tougher when it's more established and a lot larger. So that goes to show you how cold hardy these plants are. They can be planted pretty early. The fourth plant that you can plant as soon as the ground thaws are strawberries. Strawberries are so cold hardy that here in zone eight, they are evergreen. All we have is just a few leaves that turn red here and there. This strawberry patch right here has two varieties of strawberries and they're already starting to send runners and reproduce. So you can plant these as soon as the ground is workable. I have a fantastic place to buy strawberries linked down in my Amazon storefront under the list bare root plants. So you can check that out if you need varieties of strawberries. That's where all of my strawberries came from and that can give you a leg up if you want to order them now or pretty soon because you can start them really soon. 
The fifth plant that you can plant as soon as the ground is workable is not a fruit. It is asparagus. Asparagus is one of the first perennials that comes up from the ground for me every single winter. And for me, they emerge in early March. These crowns in the ground are about two years old. Now in a couple of days, I'm going to cut all of these old dried out ferns down. I'm going to mulch them and the new spears will start emerging in probably about a month already. Now when you plant asparagus, you will buy bare root asparagus asparagus crowns and you will bury them fairly deep. I'll make sure to link to a video above on how to do it because you can do it as soon as the ground is workable since they will have some time until emergence. And just like the strawberries, I have these linked in my Amazon storefront as well under bare root plants. I have a fantastic source where I bought all of my asparagus from. The sixth fruit that you can plant in ground as soon as your soil is workable are apples. Apples are super cold hardy and they can withstand temperatures as cold as conditions in zone four. So they can really take a beating. In fact, I was just at my local Lowe's today and they already got in all of their apple trees. So if you go to your local big box stores and they already have them sitting out, you can plant them in ground right now. Just remember that when you buy apple trees, you need two varieties that flower at about the same time for cross-pollination. Very few apples are self-fertile. The seventh and eighth fruit that you can plant as soon as your soil is workable are Asian and European pear trees. Despite them both being pears, they are quite different, so make sure that you plant the variety that you want. This is an Asian pear. Uh, they are generally not self-fertile, so I actually have three genetically unique varieties grafted onto a single rootstock so they can cross-pollinate themselves. Uh, some European pears are often self-fertile. Make sure that you check if it's a self-fertile tree or if you need multiple multiple trees for cross-pollination. So please keep that in mind when selecting pear trees. Fruits nine and 10 that you can grow as soon as the ground is workable are Asian and American persimmons. And while they both have the persimmon name, they are quite different. Asian persimmons for the most part are almost all self-fertile and American persimmons for the most part require cross-pollination. And if they're wild types, they may even need a male and a female tree. Persimmons are amazing. They're one of my favorite fruits and they have very few pests and diseases. I'll make sure to link to a video guide above that shows you exactly how to grow them because if you've never heard of them or you never tasted them, you have to try them to believe them. I have two Asian persimmon trees growing in my yard and I love them both. The Asian varieties are not quite as cold hardy as the American varieties, but if you live in say zone five and you want an Asian type, they do make Asian American hybrids that are about as cold hardy as an American persimmon, but with the larger, mostly seedless fruit of the Asian persimmon. Fruits 11 through 15 that you can plant as soon as your ground is workable are stone fruits, and that will include peaches, plums, nectarines, apricots, and cherries. This right here is a peach tree that I'm using for an example because it's the only stone fruit I currently have planted in ground. Now it's very important that you determine before selecting your varieties if they're self-fertile. This is a self-fertile peach. However, not all stone fruits are self-fertile. Some peaches, some nectarines, some plums, they require cross-pollination, and I believe most cherries do as well. So you really have to do your homework to know if you need one tree or two. The 16th fruit that you can plant as soon as the ground is workable are pawpaw trees. Right here I have two pawpaw trees right next to each other because pawpaws almost all require cross-pollination. So keep that in mind. If you want to grow pawpaws, you need two genetically unique trees. Pawpaws have the honor of being the largest fruited fruit tree that is native to the United States. So because they're native to the US, they are very cold hardy. They can tolerate down to zone four and they've evolved to be used to our late frosts and freezes. So they tend not to bud out and leaf out until late. For this reason, no decently sized backyard is complete without two pawpaw trees because they're native to the US, they pretty much have no pests and diseases aside from squirrels. So keep that in mind, they're really easy to grow and raise. And the 17th fruit that you can plant as soon as the ground is workable are grapes. Grapes are one of the most cold hardy fruits out there. They come in a wide range of different varieties. You can get ones native to Europe. You can get ones native to the Americas. Uh, no matter what you like, there's probably a grape out there that will suit your tastes. And because they're so cold hardy, you can plant them when they're in full dormancy, even when it's pretty cold out. As you can see, my grape, this grape is only 
a little over a year old and it's already gotten so large it's already cordoned out and overall it's looking great and it's in desperate need for a pruning so if you want to grow something that's pretty easy to grow and very forgivable and can tolerate cold temperatures with a wide variety of different types of fruits I really suggest growing the grape and they're pretty cheap you can order them online and they also stock them pretty well at big box stores and that right there are 17 plants that you can plant as soon as the ground is workable you can already get a huge jump start on the growing season by ordering these plants and if you're in a milder zone you can even start planting them as we speak now I know how busy the gardening season can be once it really starts getting warm in early to mid spring however you can get a major jump start on the growing season now by getting some of these bare root dormant trees in while it's still pretty cold and you can get all of this work done ahead of the growing season so this is a great way to both maximize the efficiency of your garden by getting these fruit trees that may take a few years before they really start bearing fruit in when you're not really doing all that much and it's still pretty cool and gray out and it'll also give you something major to look forward to because you don't have to wait until sunny spring to really get a taste of gardening you can get that in now and that will really help shake off those winter blues so everybody I sure hope you found this video helpful and inspiring if you have any questions about the various fruit trees that are mentioned in this video please ask them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them I have many guides on most of the different things that I have mentioned in this video so if you search across my channel you can find a guide pretty much on every single one of them so everybody I sure hope you found this video helpful if you did please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and please ring that notification bell so you're notified when we release more videos like these if you're curious about any of the products that I use in real life in my garden they are all linked down below in my Amazon storefront in the video description so expand that video description and click on the Amazon link to see everything I use in real life and while you're there check out my spread shop for custom merch if you want to support the channel thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see all of you again on the next video oh my goodness Dale what did mommy put on you you look ridiculous you look ridiculous oh my goodness rubber ducky pajamas if the boys at Playcare see you, they're going to make fun of you. They're going to think you're a mama's boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, sir. Oh, he is a mama's boy. Oh, is this boy a mama's boy? Oh, <laughs> and he looks like one, too. Oh, my goodness. Where did she get these? These are, these are ridiculous. Look at you. <laughs> you look so funny.